Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Laura Alcoverrovia. I am the call coordinator for the Innovation Fund, and through this presentation, I'm going to guide you to the application procedure on the third call for large-scale projects. First of all, where can you find the call? This is the URL that will uh, lead you to the call page. I understand it is a bit long. So you can also access it through the funding and tender portal of the European Commission that you can easily find on any search engine. This is the URL and from there you can search on any call for any funding program of the European Commission. As you would be interested in the Innovation Fund, you can select the program that will lead you to the landing page where you can actually view all the calls that have been published so far. When you click on this button, the first ones you will see are actually the calls which are open for submission and there you will notice that there are four different screens. This corresponds to the four different topics that are open for the Innovation Fund call for large scale, large scale projects 2022. Another way also to select to find the call is to go through the web page of the European Climate Infrastructure and Environment Executive Agency, who's implementing the program. If you go through this website, you can also click on the section Call for Proposals and you will uh, reach the same uh, page as in the Funding and Tenders portal. So going back to the topic pages, you can select any of the topics and the relevant documents will be exactly the same. For instance, if I click on the first one, a topic page will open and on the left hand side you can see a menu. If you click on conditions and documents you will immediately see the different documents that are available and the most important, the ones that you should read first, are the call document and the methodologies for calculation of GAG emission avoidance and for calculation of relevant costs. These documents will give you all the information that you need in order to understand what the call can fund and how you can uh, prepare your uh, application. Once you have read these documents and getting familiar with the methodologies, you can start the submission. Again, on your left-hand side menu, you will find the submission service and you just click on the start submission button. It is important that you say that you enter in this page by the appropriate topic under which you want to submit your application as this cannot be changed afterwards. On the submission service, you will find this menu. Once you get there, you can also download the Part B templates. What can you find there? The application form Part B, which you need to fill in with the technical information on your proposal, the relevant cost calculator, the GAG calculators. You have three different calculators available, but you need to submit only one, the one that corresponds to the methodology that you have chosen for your proposal and two other documents which are also compulsory for submission, the participant information and the Gantt chart. I may say that through the submission uh, process, you always have some help available uh, on the general features of the submission system. The online manual and the IT, IT how-to buttons are always there and will give you will lead you again to the Funding and Tender Opportunities Portal where you will find general guidance on how to navigate through the portal and how to navigate through the submission system. 
Let's go back to the Innovation Fund and the important screens that you will need to take into account when preparing your, pro your proposal. When you enter in the se submi submission system, you will see this screen. These are the submission slots, so all the documents that you need to <coughs> submit together with your application. Those marked with an asterisk are compulsory, and the first ones, Part B, relevant cost calculator, participant information, timetable Gantt chart, and GIG emission calculator correspond to the templates that you can download from the system. For the other documents, there is no particular template. You need to follow the instructions that you will find in the call document. In addition, you also need to uh, fill in some information directly in the system. This you can do it through the Edit Forms button. Once you click on this button, you will see this table of contacts. You fill in the information that is required, and I will only highlight which is the key information that you do not need to forget. Under General Information, it is important that you select the fixed keyword one. The fixed keyword one, you will find a drop down menu with the list of sectors which are uh, open uh, for, this, uh, for this call. So you need to select the sector that corresponds also to the GAG methodology that you use for your proposal. You need to follow the methodology in order to identify the right sector and the right methodology for calculation. Another important screen is the budget. How much grant do you request for your project? And this is the only information that you need to fill in in this table. Again, in the call text, you will find more information on how you can calculate the requested grant amount. And last but not least, under other questions, you will encode which are the values for your absolute and relative GIG emission avoidance, cost efficiency, and the location of your project. Once you have filled in all the data, once you have submitted uh, all the documents, uploaded all the documents, sorry, you click on the Submit button. You need to do so before the call deadline. Otherwise, your proposal will not be admissible. Once you submit the, your proposal, you will see this screen indicating when your proposal was submitted and you will also receive a proposal ID. This is the reference for your proposal that will be used throughout the evaluation. Once you have submitted a proposal, you can always view it through the funding and tenders portal. If you log in with your own ECAS ID and you go to the tab, My Proposals. There, you can see the proposals that you have in draft, the proposals that you have submitted, and you can always edit your proposal through actions. For a submitted proposal, you can view it and you can also edit it until the call deadline. If you do so, again, do not forget to press the Submit button. Help is available throughout this process. Again, once you are in the topic page, you have the Get Support tab that can provide you the links to the help desk and support services. You will get to this page, and in particular, I would like to attract your attention to the Innovation Fund Help Desk, where you can ask all your questions about the call and the submission process. I hope that you found this information useful to prepare your applications, and I wish you good luck.